morning. Let's get going with our session on climate change today. First question is, explain how volcanic activity and orbital changes may cause long-term climate change for Mars. As I've said in previous sessions, always highlight the key issues or terms that you're going to be outlining and make some bullet points before you start answering the question. In this case, I'd pick out what kind of activity and orbital changes, underline those two, and then write some examples that you may know of, and then talk about or make some bullet point notes about what the consequences on long-term climate change might be. So that's someone's written. Volcanic kind of activity has bad and good impacts for uh, climate change. For example, lots of environments will be, get destroyed. However, more crops can be planted because of the fertile soil. As well as this, volcanoes are a good source of geothermal energy, and this would have had good impacts on climate change because we would be using a much cleaner source of energy. So for this paragraph, the Canada is not talked about a specific type of volcanic activity, i.e. an eruption would be ideal in this circumstance. And then what would have been better to talk about would be how a volcanic eruption could lead to a lot of ash in the atmosphere, and then that could help reflect or deflect the thermal properties of solar radiation out. Uh, towards uh, space again, therefore reducing uh, global temperatures. Now the impact of that would be somewhere between up to a year or up to 10 years. If it's a uh, VEI-8 style eruption like Mount Pinatubo, however, um, longer term beyond that, uh, its impact would not uh, be that great. Canada talks about, as well as this, volcano source of geothermal energy. Not sure what the relevance of that is. This would have good impacts on climate change because it would bring much cleaner source of energy. Um, so a misunderstanding of what the question is asking for, but also a misunderstanding of what volcanoes uh, are capable of doing. So overall, this would not get any marks in the exam, most likely. Next answer. Volcanic activity leads to a large release of greenhouse gases such as CO2, methane and nitrous oxides and more. The large quantity can absorb and trap large amounts of solar radiation and the atmosphere causing climate change over time with continuous activity. So in this uh, opening few sentences the candidate has talked about what impacts volcanic activity can have but also it, um, it identifies what some potential consequences could be even better would be if the candidate could then say whether it's going to increase temperatures or reduce them however for a GCSE style answer this probably would be sufficient orbital change like the rotation of axis the earth spins on can lead to long-term climate change as more solar radiation is absorbed due to being in closer orbit to the sun. So that demonstrates that the candidate understands how uh, the orbit works, as well as the fact that the Earth is spinning on an axis. And there are times, because we have an elliptical orbit, and it would have been better if that had been mentioned in the answer, because we have an elliptical or orbit around our sun, at some points we are closer, at other points we are further away, and this could have um, temporal changes on um, change in climate over time. So overall, the, the candidate has a good understanding of the differences between the two, and this probably would be a top band answer, probably three out of four, uh, if not uh, four out of four. The eruption of volcanoes in areas of tectonic activity can lead to release large amounts of carbon dioxide to be emitted into the atmosphere. For example, Eyjafjallajökull Fatlyokul emitted millions of tons. As a result, there is an increase in the amount of long wave radiation from the earth being absorbed, leading to increases in enhanced greenhouse effect and thus global temperatures. 
This is a excellent opening few sentences. The candidate has identified what uh, volcanic activity can do in terms of emitting gases into the atmosphere. Also identifies a specific example and then talks about the impacts this has on solar radiation coming through. The next paragraph, in regards to orbital changes in Milankovitch cycles, that's really good. Candidates identified a key geographical term, changes to orbit's eccentricity, making the Earth's orbit more or less eclipsed. Causes the Earth to experience periods of more or less solar radiation, thus changing temperatures of the Earth's atmosphere when absorbed by the Earth and re-emitted as long-wave radiation. So that paragraph is also excellent, identified a key relevant uh, theory and talked about the impact it has on temperatures as well as the atmosphere and so forth uh, on planet Earth. Overall, this would be a top band answer. So time for you to go away and answer this question, explain how volcanic activity and orbital changes may cause long-term climate change. Four marks in total. Remember to outline the key elements of the question. You might be wondering if you need to have a conclusion for this. You certainly don't. For four markers, you just need to explain something and uh, that will be sufficient. So remember, keep doing these practice questions. There's more to come uh, tomorrow and uh, we will go through a, another uh, example of a exam question. In the meantime, if you do have any questions about um, wanting to cover something new or different, just let me know in the comments and I will um, make a specific video for you uh, in regards to that. Otherwise, have a great day and keep on revising.